Right, this is for anybody that's new to making star fires. This, you see to my front, is four foot lengths that I've sawn off from the tree lying over here. And what I need to do first is delimb them, then I'll show you how we go about making a star fire. So get your axe or your knife, whatever you've got. Just set them upright. Make sure you hit from underneath, like so. Yeah. So, just hit it for the underneath side. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So there we go. A four foot log. Approximately under your armpit for the floor is roughly the height you're looking for. So cut yourself three of them. Right, so what you can see here is a fire that I built earlier on. You'll need to forgive the smoke here. The wind's picking up again just in queue as I start the filming. You can see there's the flames coming up. But as you can see, it's got a really good bed of coals. Okay, so what I need you to do now then is basically place your three logs in a parallel line to each other across the top of the fire lengthwise. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Right in the centre of the fire, bed it in. Do the same. It's in that bed of coals. And my last log, just like right so. Right, so it's running in a parallel line like that. As you can see here, I've got a piece that I've already had on and it's really thin at the centre. Okay, but you can still pick the logs up at the end and I'll show you what we need to do to break it. Right, get yourself a log like this and just take it. There we go. We have two halves. Right, that's the fire been on for 20 minutes now, and I've just got my coffee on. And the water's just starting to boil there. But you can see the logs are starting to burn in the centre, and it leaves the ends exposed, which you can pick up, snap off or depends on how much time you've got. If I'm out the full day, I just let it burn the full way through the log and then create my star. Okay, but that's it after 20 minutes. And I would say the logs are approximately five inches thick. Right, this is the parallel fire sitting on top of a deep bed of coals. And this has been burning now for half an hour and I want to start cooking. So you can see here on the top right hand picture of the camera, I have a log here. I showed you previously that you can lift up the logs by the end of the log and hit it off a tree and break it. But in some situations where it's hot and dry, the embers can fly everywhere and this could potentially start a fire which is dangerous. Okay, unfortunately the area I'm in is soaking wet. It still could be a danger even in these conditions. So this is another suggestion in what you can do when it comes to breaking up the fire. Right, get your log by the end, you can see it's thin right through. Take it up to the log, get it by the end. Right, and break it through like that. Set them to the side, put a log here. There we go, set it to the side. One's going to break through itself. Okay, set that to the side. Then, what you want to do is get this all centered and then place your logs in a star formation like this. Oh, 
if you've got any logs for your previous fire, get them on as well. Right, what I like to do now then is let the centre burn out of the fire or what you can do if you want to eat just now is pull the logs apart and just use the coals to cook upon and then add your logs but what I do, I've got plenty of time today so I'm just going to let the centre burn out and then I'll do my cooking Right there, I've got my lunch on now and my water supported on the star formation now you can open up the gaps between each log drag out coals if you want to cook up on and you've also got a structure that you can set your pot on so it gives you a good variety of cooking options which I really do like about this fire Right, there's the fire laid in the star formation and you can add logs to that I've just had my lunch there and I've put these logs back in again and the wind's assisting at the day but all you do then is with your foot or your or gloved hand just kick it in as it starts to burn like that In. Just as you go about your camp chores, and that'll keep your fire up and running for hours. And the good thing about this fire is you can just add additional limbs to the staff formation. So I've got this one here, just put that there. There you go, and just keep doing that throughout the night and it burns really good I find this one lasts all night right hopefully that'll help you out with a staff formation for anybody who's just starting out and they want to try doing one of these fires I'll catch you all in my next video thanks again for popping into the channel and having a look please like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the future cheers